Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. We are back in the sewers again after finding, taking care of some puzzles inside the Innsmouth Church. And we had another hallucina hallucination, some more creepy child laughing and singing, and now hopefully we are out of here for a while. As we probably run right into Fishman. Alright, there's... Okay, sneak mode activated. This is the bank. Okay, excellent. And did it without... Did you hear anything in the church? Okay, they're waiting for us outside the church, so they have no idea that we are here. We're in pretty good shape. We do not have a weapon yet. However, our med supplies are maxed out. We have to be very careful. Okay, I guess we head up here and we have to watch ourselves because Jack is terrified of heights. Oh crap. Uh. No, no I'm not. I am in no such thing. Crap, okay. So, no time for stealth. Where the heck are we going? Okay, just over here. I see. Alley-oop! That was worth a- that was worth a fractured leg or so, or two. Ow. Actually, that was more than a fractured leg. Oh! No! Yeah, let's heal that up. There, Jack. You see that bow? Oh, I hate- well, I hate and kind of love um, injuries like that. Okay, here's another save spot. Go ahead and give that a save. So hopefully they don't come in here. And that won't budge. So there. Oh, holy crap. No. Oh, do we have to. Mm. Okay, do we have to leap of faith here? Alright, here we go. One for the money. No guts, no glory. Whew! Good job. Spread out. We'll close that just in case. Search the area. Okay. Now we're gonna have to do the closest thing to parkour we can do in this game. Search the area. What's oh. shit? Some of the planks are weak. I better watch my step. Maybe that killed one of them. I doubt it though. Okay, just don't look up. Crap. Well, so much for that. Hi! How you doing? Everything going alright for you? How you doing? And I'm about to die again. <laughs> no. Okay, come on. Come on. Is that all you guys got? Come on. You guys got better aim than that, don't you? Give me a give us a kiss, fish man. Oh, there you go. Now he's just gonna bludgeon me to death. Alright. Fortunately, we had the game saved. So it looks like... It looks like we're gonna have to actually run across those beams. They can't support my weight. Oy. So, let's try this again. Okay. Hmm. Search the area. Oh, we're actually gonna have to. Hmm. Search the area. You know what? That's a red herring. 
We're gonna have to jump. Spread. Shit. Some of the planks look weak. Yeah. I better watch my step. Okay. So here we go. What was that? Did you hear it? Ooh. Easy, Jack. This is not the time for paranoia. This is never gonna end. Probably not, no. What's happening to me? Psychosis. No, no. I can't think straight. Okay, easy. Look up to the sky, look at the pretty stars. Filled with horrors beyond your wildest imagination. And we stay here on the steady ones. We do not jump up on here. He's up there. No, I'm not. No such thing. Whoo. Alright. You okay there, Jack? You caught cool, calm, and collected? You just stay frosty, my friend. And looks like... Ooh, okay. Fire bad. And jump! Work our way up, work our way up. Okay. Now, sneak mode activated once again. Okay, so... Much like a Metal Gear. Are we stuck in the door? Oh, we are stuck. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I'm like, uh-uh. Now the problem is the fact that Jack is afraid of heights and, and sneak mode slows you down so much. Is that what I'm going to have to do? Another leap of faith? Well, we'll give it a shot. Ready. Steady. Ooh. Very nice, Jack. Let's actually stay on the ladder now. Now. The question is, where do we go from here? There's a way that we can go over here. Ooh. Okay, look up. Jack, calm down. There you go. Ooh, save point. Which means that we probably have some really bad decisions ahead of us. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I, I am far more uh, comfortable with what we've got to do now. And it looks like this is the best way to go. So, let's calm down first. And jump! And I think we took an injury there. Nope. No, we did not. Spread out! Don't want to fall into any sudden holes. Because we are so close to getting a gun, I think. When we are closer to the ground, for good or ill, are we going to be doing some roof jumping? or? Oop. Easy there. And it looks like we're going to have to jump over there. I'll check over here just to make sure. No. Okay. Look at that, guys. Fill up our med kit. And I'm going to stay crouched just in case. And always check the doors to see if they can be locked from the other side. Looks like it won't okay. open. Sneak mode. Search the area. 
Easy there. No. Oh, that's not a door. Crap. Okay, I see. Okay, I see what we gotta do. Do we have to jump up there, or what are we doing? We can't jump up there. Let's calm down. Oh! They found me. Easy there. Easy, easy, easy. Well, nothing we can really do. We've got to try. I'm not, I shouldn't be in sneak mode. What's the, oh. Okay, stare. Avoid the gunfire. There's another ladder. That's where I came from. Who's there? No one here but us outsiders. Ah, all right. So, ready? Whew. I hope this is the right way. I didn't no see that grandfather clock before. So, Hello, whoa, Jack. Mackie. Mackie. Have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all and Can you this? give me a gun? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it, and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. Okay. I thought he was See gonna be around, disappeared Mackie. at that point. It won't budge. Anything else around here? Can I still talk to you? Nope. Mackie's the strong, silent type. Well, how do I... Do I have to take a fall here, or...? Okay, good. Good, good, good. February 8th, 1922. Early hours. Everything in this godforsaken town is out to kill me. Around every corner, some hideously tainted thug is searching. I've managed to avoid them so far, though poor Rebecca wasn't so lucky. It's starting to look hopeless. Only Mackie doesn't seem to want me dead, and maybe he has an ulterior motive. His mention of investors in this town, and his knowledge of the esoteric order, clearly point to some level of involvement. Still, he told me where to find Brian Burnham, and he seems to pose no immediate threat. Even so, his apparent understanding of things in Innsmouth is unnerving. Am I becoming paranoid? After what I've seen and experienced, how could I know? The strain is certainly having an effect on my nerves. I'm beginning to hear and see things that can't possibly be real. I need to ignore these distractions if I want to get out of here alive. My best chance is to find Brian and break him out of the jailhouse. To do that, I'll need a plan. Well, you have plenty of time. You're sitting here writing in your journal. Jailbreak. So we're moving on to another chapter this time. And this, I believe, if I recall correctly, there is a gun in the jail. And then we can start actually shooting people. The thing is, you don't want to start doing that right off the bat, because that'll bring all the deep ones, or the tainted, towards you. So that is not advisable to do. It won't open. So, looks like we're heading back up again. And then down. Who's there? No one? Oh, ah. holy crap. Hi, Const Constable. There's nobody here. There you go. You just woo saw. Go back about your business. We hear the call. Whoa! You hear the call, do you? Do you hear that? 
Hi, what are all the cops doing here? Holy crap! Okay, let's continue. Hopefully we don't have to be all the way back. Maybe hopefully where we started. Okay, cool. So... Do you hear that? No. Oh! Ow! Hi. You go about your business there. Okay. So... Stealth is advisable. Man, that vertigo it is just killer. And there's no way to get up there. Man, how do I pull this off? And I am stuck. Not much more I can do, really. Do I just have to run through these guys? Ooh. Oh, man. That knocked me out of, uh... Alright. We're gonna run this way. Whoa. All right, hurry, 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 hurry. Crazy inmates. There we go. Oh, hi! Holy crap. Okay, weapon. <laughs> now we can actually start inflicting pain. Ooh. Okay. Deep breaths. It's locked. Henry. Henry. Why don't you just go? My goodness. What's going on here? My real father. No. Are you burning? Not him. Yes. No. What okay. Oh, this is Brian. Okay. My name's Jack Walters. I, I'm a private detective. I, uh, Where do you keep the keys? Dog. Where should I trust you? What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. <laughs> Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. Okay. They're gonna find you, Jack. The order shows no mercy. Thanks, Brian. What do you mean? I won't I take don't them. It. Okay, so this guy's just speaking gibberish. Yeah. Oh, hi. That's uh, Ramona's dad. Cut his wrist with a straight razor. Looks like. So what do I do here? Hello guys. Weaponry. Thank God. And I can use the scroll to switch between weaponry. It's locked. Okay, what is your problem, man? According to this, there have been many arrests lately, but no charges listed. <laughs> Messing with the alarm would be too Oh, risky. yeah, definitely. I do as you ask. Never. It's locked. Well, so let's see if we can have a find the keys. I think I hear doors opening and closing. Look at Jack getting his Gordon Freeman on. Oh, med pack. Oh, we're full up on everything. 
bathroom? Okay, that was something. Whew. And sludgy water. I expect that from fishmen, though. This sneaking just makes everything worse. I need to find a save point before I end the episode today. So, let's get a little bit of our run on. Hmm. Shotgun shells. There's nothing of interest in the wardrobe. Oh, keys. The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. Awesome. Now, I do want to see what's up here, though, first. It won't oh. open. Oh, fair enough. Answered our question for us. I should leave the alarm alone. I... It's unlocked. Okay. It's Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. Man, that's rough. Hi there, crazy man. He's crazy. I don't think it would be the sharpest plan to let him out. So, do we kill him? I don't know. It's unlocked. Let's see what this is. Ship's logs of Captain Obed Marsh. Why would those be in a jail cell? March 6, 1823. Unless Zadok was here before they beat him to death. Still en route to China, eastward from Othahite, or Tahiti as it's also called. We've encountered an island that does not appear on our charts. I ordered the anchor dropped close inshore, and we sent the longboat for fresh water and supplies. The islanders are not interested in trading for gold, of which they have apparently a great quantity. I asked after its source, in the hope of setting up a mining and milling operation on shore. In response to my questioning, I was taken to a smaller island nearby, and shown some stone ruins, apparently of great antiquity. The designs carved upon them are like nothing I have ever seen in all of my travels. This, they say, is the city of the sea gods, who can be prevailed upon to give them gold for the asking. I suspect it is a remnant of a higher civilization, now lost. The natives evidently find gold among the ruins. I questioned the island's chief elders at length about the ruins, and was answered with the retelling of legends so savage and fantastic that I wonder at them. Perhaps when the gold is secured and with it my own fortune, I shall reveal the island's location and open it to scholarship. Having traded for a large quantity of gold in addition to the needed water and fresh food, we resumed our voyage. I impressed upon the crew the need for absolute silence about this island, for if word were to get out, others would surely go there. Shortly before our departure, uh, Chief Walekia made me a gift of several small metal discs, evidently of the same worksmanship as the ruins. By means of these and certain chants, he said, the sea gods could be summoned and induced to bring their gifts. June 4th, 1838. Revisiting the mysterious island, we could find no trace of the people with whom we have traded for so many years. Their village was ra are raised to the ground, and no trace can be found of them. It appears that some other tribe has attacked and destroyed them. The men are much dismayed that we shall no longer be able to obtain gold here unless we discover its source for ourselves. A day's searching among the ruins availed us nothing, although certain of the crew were troubled by nightmares subsequent er, <laughs> subsequently. It appears that this voyage is destined to be without profit, and we must return to Innsmouth with both hands and pockets empty, a most troubling turn of events. The town has come to rely upon us and the gold that we bring back to make up for the trade that was lost when the War of 1812 ended. What shall become of our home port now and us along with it? August 18th, 1838. While looking over the souvenirs and curiosities I collected on my Pacific voyages, seeking some comfort in happier memories, I happened upon the strange metal disc given to me by old Wallachia and his people. I had quite forgotten them, and the stories he told about the gold-bearing gods from the sea, but now an idea is stirring within me. I do not know whether to embrace it at Innsmouth's last hope, or to concede that desperation has driven me insane. Am I mad? The gold we brought from the island also was real enough. Perhaps the sea gods are real also. A sailor at a far port sees many strange things and learns to keep an open mind. After much effort and recollection, I have remembered the chance while Akia taught me. Tonight I shall row out to Devil's Reef and try them, along with the discs. Perhaps the sea gods will save us, or if not, I shall acknowledge my folly and retire to the asylum. Later that night, the sea gods are real. 
I have seen them and spoken with them. I carry some of their gold, a token of more to come, I am assured. But the price, yet can any price be too high when one's home is at stake? Innsmouth shall rise again. June 23rd, 1846. This is a day of crisis for Innsmouth, and I and those loyal to me have been seized and thrown in jail by our pious neighbors. Okay, this is uh, where... Oh, this is why it was found. Ready enough to enjoy the prosperity I have returned to the town, they scruple at the means I use and the power I wield. They must be taught a lesson. They have no idea of the powers they seek to defy. The terrible bargain I made was irrevocable, and by locking me up they bring great peril to the town, the very town that they would save from my influence. But it's too late for salvation. As surely as I know the morning tide will rise, I know that those from the reef will come to Innsmouth. They will come in search of those things I have prevented from gi I have been prevented from giving them, and they will come to punish those that who have prevented me. Little do the righteous do the righteous dream of the horror that will visit Innsmouth this night. There will be great destruction. 1846 will be recorded in the town's annals as a year of unparalleled calamity. I shall make certain that 1846 also marks the beginning of a new age, an age in which no threat to our pact is tolerated. From this year on, I shall play the tyrant, and my descendants shall do so after me, but we do so to avert a greater evil. An old ship's wow. log, marked with the name Ovid Marsh. Indeed. I'm not going anywhere till I know I can trust you. Oi. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and then we'll try and earn the trust and, uh... <laughs> of the young man here and try and get out of here now that we actually have some firearms. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.